In today's video, I wanted to provide a quick overview of the captions feature inside of Final Cut Pro 10. And let me first show you a captions project so that you can understand what captions are. Because a lot of people get subtitles and captions mixed up. So this is a project. So this was one of the earlier video tutorials. And if I go up to the view menu at the top right, at the bottom, there's an option to show captions, which I have already have enabled here. And you can see on this one, it says, what's up, everyone? I hope you're having a wonderful day, just because that's how the video started. And this caption is going to show up whenever, whenever you enable captions. If you're on, you're on this YouTube video right now, and they, I know they do automatic captions. That's actually where I got this from. Uh, you can enable captions so that you can see the words on the screen. This is especially useful for either deaf or hard of hearing users, but I find it very useful myself when I'm wanting to watch a video and I can't hear the audio, either I'm in a loud location or somewhere else. So having captions on your video is extremely helpful, not just for uh, to, to meet regulations if you're going on television or somewhere else, but really it's, it's super helpful for other people. And I've, I found a lot of people, even on these videos, have commented or messaged me and, and thanked me for having these captions on there. So the captions are really good to have there because you can enable or disable them at any point. Unlike subtitles, which usually subtitles you'll have the entire time because maybe you, you're you watching a video and they're speaking a different language so they have the subtitles on the screen uh, in order to see those. The captions are slightly different because they are there and you can enable or disable them at any point. So in this video, I want to show you just basics of, of how to create these captions from scratch and without having to, to go to someone else and, and work with them. So I have, what is this, six, yeah, six seconds of video, very quick. We're not going to do too much captioning. But the way it works, and when you want to get started, is you're going to go up to the edit menu, and you want to go down, and there's a section for captions towards the bottom. And then there's an option here that says add captions or add caption, and that's what we want to do. Uh, this is a shortcut I would recommend if you're going to do this, learn option C. Option C will add a caption, and we're going to use that very frequently. So you'll notice then, after we do that, we see a new little line comes here to represent that caption, and we get a pop-up for the caption. We can actually start writing in what the caption is. Now for this one, I forgot what this person says, so let me play this video. I'm going to hit the space bar. And notice it's in the caption. I'm going to click out of that and then hit the space please bar. Please understand this. So he says, please understand this. So I'm going to double click back on the caption. It pops up. And I'm going to delete that space I put in there before. And I'll, please, please understand this. And notice in the viewer, we're seeing the caption is added. Please understand this. And if I go up to view, I can see the captions are enabled. I could definitely click on this to hide the caption. And I can go back and show the caption again. And here's our, our caption. So let me play again. Please understand this. So we can see with the audio waveform at the bottom, that caption should start about here. I'm just going to click and drag that little line across the area. And we'll keep it on the screen until this, this spot. So now if I play back. Please understand this. Please understand. Next spot here, he says, please understand. So I'm going to add another caption track, which again, I can go up to edit, down to captions, add caption. But instead of doing that, we're going to use the shortcut option C. Option C. Here's our, our um, caption track. Uh, track. And I think he says, please understand that, right? Please understand that the... And we can drag this to be longer. That the biggest difference for us... As communicators. As communicators, that's right. And again, just extending this with the little handles on the side, double clicking, and then we can go back in here and write this. Communicators. Um, this too, just as a side note, if you control click on the words, you can go in here and get the same um, uh, lookup uh, services, like uh, being able to, to spell check, all of that grammar stuff's in there. So if you do misspell something, you'll see the underline. You can just control click or right click 
and you get all that stuff in there as well to be able to do that. So that's adding your captions right into your project. Once you have the captions added, then you can go back and edit them if you'd like. One thing that's uh, frequent, uh, a frequent issue as far as captions go is it doesn't meet the requirements that captions have to abide by. There's rules that your captions need to follow in order to be compliant with um, just the standards that captions follow. So for example, these captions tracks, I'm gonna click and drag one of these captions to the left and, and drop it down. Let me actually extend one of these. Uh, and actually it's not even letting me because Final Cut is really, <laughs> is really nice about um, uh, following the rules. So it's actually erasing it automatically for me. So it won't let me overlap them because that's one of the rules is you can't have overlapping ones. So let me just add another one in and I'll just put in tests. And you can already see right when I added it in, everything went red because these are no longer compliant. They're not following the rules. So with one of these selected, I can see in the inspector here on the right towards the bottom, there's a validation sec section and it gives me an error and it lets me know exactly what's happening. And I, I find Final Cut is very uh, friendly and very clear as far as what these errors are. Either you've put in a character that's not supposed to be there, or in this case, they're overlapping. So it says, captions cannot overlap in the timeline. Piece of cake, lets me know exactly what's happening. I can look here, it's marked it in red. I know exactly where the error is, uh, and I could go through and fix this. Now, if this test caption was actually one I needed, I could just resize these till they're no longer overlapping. New Command Z to undo that. In this case, I know I just don't need that test, um, so I could go through and delete that. One side note, if you watched the video from a couple days ago, we have the timeline index. And if you go to captions, you can actually see the errors for those captions. So um, you, right now we're seeing everything as an error because all of them had it, but you can go down and say view errors and see just the ones that have errors there if you need to. So that's uh, adding our captions. I do want to make something very clear about working with captions, and that's with the format. And Final Cut tries to be clear with this as well, but I find it's just confusing when you're getting started. So you'll notice that this is an English ITT in parentheses. The ITT is telling us what kind of caption track that is. And in this case, it's the iTunes timed text. But that format, although it's great for iTunes, if you wanted to upload, say, to YouTube, or you want to embed these into a QuickTime movie, um, the CEA or 608 format tends to be a, a more friendly for that. So in the inspector, we have the format right at the top. And we can see it's formatted, language is English, but I could click on this and I could change it. Either do a different English or a different uh, language if I had it, or in this case, I see the CEA 608, format, so I could just hit English under that to switch it to see you, uh, yeah, to that format. Uh, you will get an error every time you do this or this little pop-up, just letting you know that the formatting may not stick because they are different formats for your um, captions. The formatting of, as far as text and the way it looks may not come over correctly. So just be aware of that. If you do an entire project and have to switch over, you'll wanna check these after you convert it. Don't just convert it and assume it's fine. So I'm gonna hit continue. And what you're gonna see here is this one immediately gets an error, but also it only moved over this one caption. And I actually wanna move over everything. I no longer want the ITT. I wanna switch everything to CEA, CEA. So instead I'm gonna do Command Z and I'm gonna click on the first caption, and then on the keyboard, I'm just gonna do Command A to select all of the captions. Obviously, I only have two, but if you have 100, it'll select them all. And now when you go up to the top here and switch it to CEA, it's gonna switch all of those over to the CEA 608 format. Something that's a little bit different with the CEA format is you can't actually have a caption track this close to the beginning of your project. So if we look at our validation, it lets us know that this caption occurs too close to the beginning of the project. And I, I, I was very close, I almost got it. We just have to move the caption one frame later. So I'm gonna go to the beginning here, I'm gonna move it one frame, let go, and boom, there, it fixed it, we're validated, there's no problems detected, everyone's happy. Uh, and then as far as the captions themselves go, when you select a caption, 
you can go here into the inspector and you get these options of how you want to display these captions. If you've ever watched a captioned program, you may have noticed that some TV programs, especially if you watch it through the commercials, commercials will put captions in many different places and they usually won't be in the same place right at the bottom. And with the different formats, you'll get options for that. So we could change the placements of these, move them up if we wanted to. I'm just clicking multiple times on the up arrow. I can go to the left, up, and you'll notice at some point you reach the edge and won't go any further because it's keeping it inside of the area that keeps it compliant so you don't get any errors. Uh, you do also get colors, so you can go and manipulate the colors. I usually don't recommend doing that unless you have a very specific reason for manipulating them. I find the standard um, format, which is this black with white, tends to be the format that looks the best that most people do want to see. But, uh, you know, obviously, whatever your project is, you can go through and, and customize that and make changes and, and manipulate these um, to look the way you want them to look. Um, we do get an option here. What is this one? The caption occurs too close to the previous caption. That's a weird one, but we can just adjust that so that we don't get that error. Okay. Um, so that's making the caption, and really that's all there is to it. It's very time consuming because you have to listen to it and write down the text, translate everything uh, into the format of what you see as far as written text. So it can be very time consuming, but I find it's worth it because once you have those captions there, we're gonna go up to share here. I'm gonna export this as a master file. This is a QuickTime file. Uh, I'm on proxies, that's fine. Actually, I don't know if I can export captions as proxy. We'll find out. But if we go in the export on the roles section, you'll have in the, if you choose the CEA 608 format, you'll see that it's going to embed those captions, in this case, the English role. If it's on a dash, make sure to, if it's this dash, make sure to switch that to English. But now it's going to embed the captions into the QuickTime file, which means, um, and you could export them uh, separately if you want to. But what that means is in the video, here it is, it popped right up because it's almost an instant. If I play back the video, Please understand this. Let me lower this down. I'm going to turn on my English subtitles or captions and if I play back from the beginning now we can see at the bottom here please understand this and there's the ugly green one that I put on there now we see those captions showing up on our, on our video so uh, that's adding captions to a Final Cut Pro project if you got something out of this if that helped give this video a thumbs up there on YouTube if you want to see something specific or if there's a question I did not answer that you were seeking leave a comment or send me a direct message. You can also reach out to me on Twitter at Final Cut Pro Help.